Hi guys, welcome to Destiny Creativity. This is Claire. Um, so I decided to attempt making a vest and I just want to share my experience. It wasn't so easy, but I just want to work with you through the steps that I had to do to make it work. So please stay tuned. Thanks. I'm using this paper roll that I got online uh, from a mirror reflective paper. It's 25 inches long. It's really hard, so I thought this would be good for the vest. And then I also cut out um, pieces uh, for the cardboard. I used approximately 35 pieces, and these will form, you know, the round shape of this vest. Uh, you can just use hot glue. I just use hot glue to stick this onto um, the roll. If you're here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload. Thank you. This was really fun, just putting together this piece and seeing how this vest is coming to life. Um, I also added extra glue um, on the sides just to make sure my pieces are in place and they won't fall apart. And uh, basically you can use as many uh, pieces as you can or less just to make sure your vest is full. And this is how beautiful it already looks. I wish I stopped at this point. <laughs> I also put a base um, for this uh, cardboard base as well that I just glued uh, using the hot glue. But um, I think I will make a vest where I just stop at this point and just work with it right at this point. Anyway, um, my main aim was to really mold this. Um, so the next step was I added a tape uh, around the entire vest, the bottom part basically. Or uh, if you have bigger tape, that would really, really make your work easier. This being my very first time trying out this vest, I really, really wanted it to be perfect and I was really expectant. Uh, so I did all the steps that I could. Now I added um, plaster bandage. I ordered this online. And well, the manual says when you cut them in triangles, it's much easier. So that's what I did, but you can, I think, use other shapes as well. So I cut small triangles as I molded them onto um, the vest and you just need water you place them in the water and then put it onto the piece that's it i did this for all the best now this bandage dries really fast so Within 15 minutes, it was already dry, and I love that. Uh, so the next part was to mix the plaster of Paris. You mix it in water to make a paste. This is what we'll be pasting onto the vest now. Now I have to say this step is really, really messy. Uh, put on gloves if you want, and um, also work really fast because this paste really dries very fast, five minutes. Uh, so whatever you mix, don't mix too much of the plaster because it will dry up so you have to work really fast and expect to be messy yeah So after I made another um, paste, this was a bit more watery and this is what will be for the finishing piece. As you can see, it's mess everywhere. I apologize. I couldn't be any neater than this. And also I had to leave this out to dry for like six hours um, just because I have to use sandpaper to remove the excess, um, you know, clean it a little bit and then add another layer of the 
plaster. To be honest, this process is not easy. It's so hard and irritating. So if you have earphones, that can really, really help you. Um, so I did this and after I had to add another second layer. Now I advise that this second layer of the plaster is as thick as the first one as well. Mine was thin and I suffered the consequences of that. Um, but make it thick and um, just leave it out to dry once again. Um, this time I left it out to dry for like um, 24 hours and uh, it came out really, really hard, really hard. So this is how it looks like now. So my next step is to get my sandpaper once again and clean this surface. This was harder than the first one because this piece was too dry. Um, so if I think I would have left it out for less hours just so I'm able to get some pieces off easily. Now, because I ended up adding spray painting it with some water for me to have some pieces out. This process is messy as well. You'll have fluffy everywhere, have your earphones on and just do as much as you can. I tried and this the sandpaper has to be coarse enough, uh, rough, um, for you to get some edges off. Now I stopped at this point because I started seeing my bandage, which I shouldn't see. And basically because my second layer was too thin, um, so I stopped at that point. I know it's not so neat and I wanted originally this face to be white. So I spray painted it white and it came out like I couldn't see any difference and I could see all my imperfections. So I changed that and spray painted it with black because black hides, you know, and I know you can do a better job than me. So I stopped here because of my problems with, um, the bandage but yeah this is how my surface looks like um it's not so perfect but it work it work i'm happy this is my first time i'll probably try it another time and do a better job uh so the base as well crumbled a little bit so i'll be spray painting that i don't want to do that plaster anymore now i'm going to add flowers onto this vest i used um this silicone uh candy mold and I just mixed a layer of the plaster and I'll leave them out to dry for a few hours. Um, I began with these um, sunflower shapes, but then I later moved to the roses. I think the roses looked much better. When these pieces were dry, I took them out and then just uh, spray painted them with gold and black. I was basically playing around with these colors just to see how the different shades would come out. And I'm so glad. I love these flowers. They looked so good, better than what I thought. And it was exciting. It was a fresh relief from whatever has been happening with the molding. And uh, yeah, so now I'll be sticking them using the E6000 and the hot glue as well to make sure they don't fall off. Then I also added um, these leaves. I just spray painted them gold, but they were originally green. So I think it was a good add to this and I love how this shape is coming out. So I'm excited and yeah. Honestly, this wasn't so easy, but I'm so glad that this vest really came out so well and this will be a really, really good piece in my home. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you love this. Please give me a like, share and subscribe and don't forget to turn the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.